Hi, this is Liz here and I'm going to go through each of the steps that I've talked about in the article in video to help you. I'm in my Google Plus account and I just wanted to show you the kinds of pictures that people have taken of themselves just so you can see that they are fairly clear headshots. If I just run through some of the people who are in my stream, you can see that some of them are quite charismatic. There's Steve Pavlina there with his hat on but most of them are quite clearly recognisable as who they are. So you need to take a picture that is of you. Next you need to go to the Google Plus homepage. Just type Google with a plus sign into Google and it'll come up near the top. And you'll find a screen something like this where there's a big sign in button or this smaller create an account button. If you've already got a Gmail account or any kind of Google account you'll be able to sign in and start your Google Plus membership from there. Once you've created your Google Plus account and assigned a picture to your profile and your profile is reachable here on this profile button and you edit your profile by clicking this particular button here you can then just click on the parts of the profile that you wish to edit. What's important when you get here is to make sure that you've added every single website that you contribute to into your contributor to area of your profile. So I'm just going to do that now and add in all the sites where I uh, have articles. Now be careful that you don't make the mistake I've just done, which is you put the URL in the second box and actually the description of it in the first box. And then you do add custom link to get the next one. And I'll just do one more while I'm here. And so on. And once that's saved, then you can have your contributor to include all the sites that you are trying to get the rel equals author to work on. Notice you only put the home page in because that's all Google needs. The other thing you need to do is you must make sure that this plus ones tab appears here. To do that you need to edit your profile, click on plus ones and make sure that this checkbox is ticked which says show this tab on your profile. If you have any trouble with this plus ones tab, it could be because you've never plus oneed any particular website before. You need to plus one at least one website for this plus ones tab to be enabled on your Google Plus account. So just go out there and plus one somebody's page um, and that will enable that for you. And then come in and make sure that you've ticked that box. Now once you're in your WordPress site, go down and find the users section and if there is more than one user on your site that's no problem just in each user's separate profile we'll start with our own make sure that you have included your biographical data here I've just put one or two lines of biographical info because I don't really want to repeat too much information on every page that's the same so minimize what you put here and then I've put a standard connect with Elizabeth on and then this special ahref link to my Google profile. If I go back to my Google Plus profile and I click on profile and then maybe go and click on about you'll see that the URL appears at the top here. You just need the bit up to the last number. You don't need the slash about on the end just take the bit up to the last number and that's the URL to your Google profile. That's the URL you will then place within this special link here which is described in my in my post so I won't go into it here but with rel equals author on the end of it and then very importantly it must start or end with a plus the actual anchor text here. 
I found the easiest way is just to say connect with Elizabeth but you'd say connect with Fred or whatever your name is on and then Google Plus and then that satisfies Google's criteria to have something in the anchor text that ends or starts with a plus. The next bit really depends on whether you're running uh, a theme that enables the WordPress bio to appear automatically on every post that an author makes. I am, I'm using Genesis and in my case it's really simple, I just have to come down here and check this box here, enable author box on this user's post, which is nice and simple. So as soon as I've done that it means that anything I write automatically gets this box added right at the bottom which contains this special link that we need in order to use rel equals author with Google. I've explained how to do this in Thesis if uh, you're using Thesis within the body of the post that goes with this video and if you aren't using Thesis or Genesis or I believe also Woo themes and one or two other premium themes will have this facility in where you just tick something to or add some code to make the the box appear at the bottom of every post. If you haven't got access to anything like that you can go and use a plugin called um, WP Biographia there and I've given the link to this within the post itself. If you add that plugin, then it basically adds that functionality to any WordPress site that doesn't have it built in, so your bio can automatically appear at the end of posts. Next on the list of things to do is to go to this particular form, again I've given you the link in the post, where you then have to fill in your name and email which should also link up with the same name and email address that you've used for your Google profile and the link to your Google profile here as well. Also it says please indicate that you've done the following. Well if you followed my instructions you will have so you can tick that box and um, I don't know if you want to send a message to Google you can type a, a little message in there to them but I didn't bother and then you submit that step seems to be pretty important because uh, I missed it out the first time and nothing happened. The next thing to do is to have a look at this rich snippets testing tool page and I've given you the link to that in the post as well and what you do is you type in the URL of a post that you've actually set up with rel equals author and this tool will tell you whether it's worked or not. Now to show you I'm typing one in here that I haven't set up all the rel equals author stuff on at all um, just to show you what it looks like when it fails so if I click on preview see it says here the following errors were found this page does not contain authorship or rich snippet markup and page does not contain authorship information so that's what it looks like if it's not working to show you what it looks like when it does work Here's the URL of the post for which I have set up all the rel equals author stuff as described in my post. And if I click on preview here, there you see it shows my icon here and also gives an indication that this is what would appear in the search engines if someone were to search for this particular page and find it and also it's got extracted author information as well here verified author markup is correct for this page so that's kind of what you see on a success okay I hope that was useful and I hope that you can now go on and get that done for all of your posts wherever they may be one last thing I would say is that if you're writing something for someone else's website maybe a guest post you should speak to them and find out whether they've got author bios enabled and whether they're actually going to give you a login to their WordPress site or if it isn't a WordPress site or they don't have author bios as standard then what you might like to do is just embed a small link at the bottom of whatever it is you write and ask them to make sure that that link stays in so you'd write your post um, a little bit like I'm doing here and send it off 
in HTML or in standard text format, it doesn't matter. But then just put at the bottom the actual link using an anchor tag, just as we did for the author bio, with the link back to your Google Plus profile and ask them not to take that link out. In this case, of course, where you are guest posting on someone else's site, you would need to add that site to the list of recommended links within your Google Plus profile to complete the circle. Okay, 